if you get a, a community mass kit from Gulf Coast State College, basically what you're going to get are four pieces of fabric that are cut to size. There are two long, thin pieces that are used for the uh, tie straps, and then there are two square pieces that are used for the actual mask themselves. The plain white square piece is the inside of the mask, and the printed, the decorative piece, is for the outside of the mask. Now, what we'll do in order to make the mask is the first thing you do is get an ironing board and fold your ear strap your tie strap in half and iron it there and then take each half and roll it in like that so that this is all rolled like that and then close that up and iron it. What you get is something that looks exactly like this. This one's already been ironed. You can see the, the when, when this is finished there's no raw edges showing. Okay, they're all folded together. Now, you get those two done, those are your straps. Now, take your square pieces and put them together so that the print side is toward the white side. Like that. Go to a sewing machine and sew it down opposite edges. Depends on which way you want the print to run, what edges you use, it really doesn't make any difference. Now, turn this inside out. And that again has hidden the raw edges where you sew these two pieces together. Then what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to pleat it. Now, if you can find one where you picked up your kits, you can, take a, you can take a folding template, which you simply put on top of here, and these little uh, indentations correspond to parts of where your folds occur. Really, you don't need them. What you want to do is just grab it here, both layers, grab it here, and put it there like that. And that goes like that. You do the same here on the, on, on the other part. Do the exact same thing. You go like that. So you have that. And then you have that. And there you have folded your pleats into your mask. You sew them here and here, and you get this. There's a piece that's already sewn together. This is a, the face plate of the mask. This is what goes toward you, and that what, that's what the decorative side that goes out. Now, all you have to do to finish your mask, you'll notice there's a little blue tick right there. That's the center of the 34 inches. You just put the center of your mask at the center of 34 inches and sew it from one end to the other. You do that on both sides, and you get this, which is a completed mask. And that's just that easy.